Virgo, if you are here in this reading, it is because you have been guided to, to be here, okay? Nothing happens by accident. So your energetic uh, flow that you are carrying will help guide you to messages or information that's in alignment with what that is, meaning it will help you on your path forward. You are being guided to click onto a video. You are being guided to read a certain book. You have to trust that energy. Let's find out in this reading for you, Virgo, what is it that's going on with you? What's happening with you? Where is your path taking you? And what messages do your spirit guides have to give you? Remember, timeless. When you see this video, when you get this message, it's meant to be heard at that time. So let's begin. The oracle card or the angel number card that I got out for you is number 16. Okay. The number 16 may mean something to you. It can be a date. It can be an age. It can be a timing period as well. Maybe 16 weeks or 16 months. Something gets going on with this number. Even a date. Um, you have an inquisitive mind. Okay, that's actually true. I do believe you do have an inquisitive mind, Virgo. Um, that allows you to uncover important truths. To be honest with you, I do know a Virgo. Okay, she is my daughter. If I want to know something, uh, I'll be honest. If I want to know the truth about something or I want a question answered, uh, maybe I'm not sure what to do, or maybe I need another perspective. I will always go to her, and I'll be like, Virgo, um, this is the situation. Give me your two cents. You know what I mean? Give me your five cents or whatever it is. Tell me what you think. And I'm telling you, she's always going to tell me things from a perspective that I didn't look at it. So this is absolutely true for your energy. You have the special ability to read into other people's feelings. Yes. Um, a wisdom seeker. And your angels, and you, you and your angels ask, a wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share. They are asking you to share. It's written a bit weird. They are asking you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Exactly what I was just telling you. Like when, I, when I've got a question like, I'm like, should I do this? Should this be the way I move forward? Is this right? Especially when it comes to like other people. I will always be like, What's the situation here? And I'm not sure. Sometimes I'm not that great at reading people. Okay. Because um, I've got such an open heart. And my daughter will probably watch this reading and go like, yes, mother, I know. Okay. Comment below, Aisha. And um, it's interesting because the energy is um, when I come to her and I'll be like, Virgo, so this is the situation. She'll always be on point with regards to it. And I feel like that kind of thing that you carry as you, Virgo, I feel like this is actually something that you could be working with. Um, you could be actually benefiting or helping people in some kind of way. Okay, so let's look at the oracle cards here. Um, cherubim, okay, that's the angel that has come in here. It's the little cherubs that we kind of like see on like carvings and stuff in all the furniture. Um, look to the stars, accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. This is about downloads. This is very interesting. Um, you could be at this moment in time receiving certain downloads um, with regards to information coming in that's going to grant you even maybe more wisdom than you, what you already carry. And the keys as well, which is so interesting because I literally have a key right here. Okay. And the keys that you could be getting is to open doors for other people, to open doors for yourself to open energies that are coming your way, maybe even to benefit people, opening portals for people, opening doorways for people with the wisdom that you get from download. The codes that you are going to be getting will be codes to unlock the safe, you know, to people's treasures, codes to unlock the people's, people's own souls. There's something uh, very special about you. Whoever you are, Virgo, not all the Virgos in the world are watching this reading, only you. Okay, so there's something very special about you here with these energies. There's definitely something that you're going to be doing um, that's very different and very unique. I do feel like it does help, um, interesting, help other people. I feel like it helps other people. Also yourself, okay? You can't help anybody else. You can't advise anyone else until you've helped yourself. So first of all, we're starting with you. So let's have a look and see. The Buddha has come in here. Ten of water, six of earth, and the nine of fire. 
the nine of fire as i put the card down spirit guide is talking about burning away a lot of things i'm talking about specifically inside of you the nine of fire or the nine of wands okay it's actually supposed to mean closing yourself off the wounded warrior because of what has been happening to you in your life um that's not for me okay um sort of feeling very overwhelmed feeling like a victim needing to shut yourself off you could have gone into this energy but i also feel you are beginning to burn now a lot of things that have happened to you away as i'm looking at her she's holding these stars there it's almost like there's new things that you're beginning to hold on to there's new dreams because the star is a light there and i feel like you are moving out of a period here where you could have just been wanting to shut your whole world off um protect yourself but at the same time you're burning away a lot of illusion that's how i feel with that nine of wands i feel like you're working from inside out um it's almost like you're in yourself in this world of um little safe haven that you've made for yourself trying to protect yourself from the crazy world you know but all of a sudden there's a light inside of you here burning like that and it's coming out and it's burning away and opening, burning away the wall that you put up, revealing something else to you. And yeah, you are in this beautiful, there's something very, very unique about you. The Ten of Cups comes in here as you working on yourself. But it's beyond you. <laughs> it's definitely beyond you. It's almost like wisdom coming in here from the Buddha and um, deeper understanding. You could be meditating like that. Um, learning things about yourself you could be um, it's almost like your main aspect right now it involves two areas okay as you burn through the illusion okay it involves these two areas the ten of cups first and foremost I feel like you're putting the highest priority of yourself at this moment is your life it is how you feel in your world the ten of cups is a happy home it is you being happy and smiling like the Buddha in your home. But let's not forget you also want the stability, the Six of Pentacles. You also need to have um, flow of money, to be honest. I mean, if you're worried about how, you, how you're going to pay the bills, you're not going to be the Ten of Cups. There has to be stability here. And you are looking at both these areas. But I feel like at this moment, to be honest with you, you're looking more at that beyond the let's just go make money you know what i mean let's go get let's go let's go get rich no it's more than that it has to balance it has to be this energy of if it doesn't make me happy then i cannot be there under the deck we've got cancer with the chariot card when i see a card i can't deny it definitely a leveling up a determination you are i can see from the chariot card working through a lot um needing to handle a lot of different things trying to push through something I almost feel like you're trying to push through something to get your life to be the Ten of Cups, the Six of Earth. But to get there, it's like you're pushing through an invisible barrier um, that pushes back on, onto you. So you push through it and it's pushing back. You're going to break it. You're going to go through that. You're gonna, it's almost like a force field that's trying to hold you here into the Nine of Wands. But you're going to break through. And the light of you, who you are, the fire that you carry inside of you, is going to be what breaks through this almost prison. Look at you, how you're birthing your life. The queen of uh, the empress coming in there, birthing a new life. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of a prison in energy. Okay. Um, you remember when we got here and I said, yes, you created a safe haven. I nearly said you created a prison. If you actually go back and listen to the when I was saying that, I actually paused. I was like, I want to say you, you created a a safe haven i don't want to say you've imprisoned yourself you know but i feel like it was a bit it is a bit of a prison that you're breaking out of here um it's definitely that energy i feel like you are going to break out of it the fire that you know this energy from the inside of you is going to be the key okay that you receive to break through that force field and not only will it also benefit you but because you know how to do it you know how to get free and move into what it is you want to see you will be able to do that for others as well okay we've got the queen of pentacles coming in there the full card and we've got the emperor rocking up in your reading look at this power this time this place where you're calling the shots here the queen of pentacles what did i tell you you cannot be ten of cups if financial stability is not there there is nothing like this there is 
No, I can live with nothing. I don't need anything. Oh, you will be hungry. And then you're going to need money to go buy food. Okay. Even if you're going to be like, I'm going to live off the land, Deborah. Okay. You're going to need something, a hacksaw, okay, to go saw wood, okay, an axe to go saw, to go chop down the tree, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be stable financially, what you do for a living in some kind of way. And there is a new beginning coming in here for you. There's a new start for you. Um, where specifically what you do for a living with the Six of Pentacles, what effort you put out there, you are going to get paid for that. So you are going to get paid for something you do for a living. It is a new beginning for you. And this is going to put you into some kind of like empowerment in your life. We've got Aries in your reading here. I feel like there's empowerment coming in for you. I feel like there's this energy of you kind of like looking at how can I put this looking at calling the shots kind of energy but looking at your life and really looking at what you don't want to see burning through an illusion burning through being trapped in some kind of way when you burn through that energy that's you taking back your power it's you in control now with the Aries energy coming in there for some of you guys you could be running a business or self-employed in that energy okay let's have a look and see rabbit okay recognize your significance do you know who you are there's something very unique about you and a lot of you haven't realized your true potential the light that you are what you mean to be doing such an interesting reading i feel like it's going to be very unique i mean to get the rabbit up here it's actually quite a unique card to come up with regards to virgo i feel like your path and what you mean to be doing it's very unique. It's very you very got a very special energy. So let's have a look and see. Damn, justice coming up here. Queen of Air, my favorite, and Nine of Pentacles. You are very independent in where you are going. There is an absolute change coming in here. There is an absolute change. You cannot have a full card and a justice card. Libra's energy rocking up here. This means you've been burning also through a lot of karmic experiences you needed to go through i feel like you've done almost your time there in your little prison burning those experiencing certain things you didn't want to experience but it was necessary for you to go through that and i feel like this is a new beginning for you coming in here there's a change coming there is no doubt about that it's not bad i feel like this is so great i love the queen of air Queen of Swords is my personal favorite tarot card, okay? Because the Queen of Air is very, very intelligent. Not that I am... Of course I'm intelligent. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't have, like, genius ability, but, yeah, I've got the smarts, hopefully. You know, with the Queen of Air coming in here, what I like about her is the fact that she's looking to something. There is a goal that she has, and a lot of wisdom as well. So there's a goal that she has. There's a dream that she has there's something going on here with regards to what she's creating and she knows what it is and she's working towards it she's not just daydreaming about it no she's practically working towards it coming in here again nine of pentacles very much tied looking from the nine of wands maybe that's what you're breaking through into the nine of wands i felt like it's a barrier like an invisible invisible barrier either self-imposed or life-imposed or both that you got yourself into and now you have to burn your way through it when you come out of this energy taking back your power you are moving into nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is this energy of you being very financially stable i mean there's a six of pentacles here as well there's a queen of pentacles here there's a nine of pentacles that is independent energy it's almost like you might be making your own money. It's like you're running a business, going back to the Aries energy of the emperor. Um, you could be self-employed. You could be just so highly educated. You know what I mean? That you will never be without a job. It's like you just, you'll just get a phone call and people will be like, come, 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 come. And that's you earning a very good living there. Very independent, very strong. So let's get into this and have a look and see. Four of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, what's going on with your reading, and the King of Wands here. The Four of Swords, there's your ending on something. There's been a, maybe four years. It could be four years of your life where you've been like this, where absolutely nothing is moving. 
it's like you don't have control in this energy with the four of swords i feel like the four of swords is kind of showing up as you wanting to be the queen of swords which is holding the sword there wanting to be, have more power but there's a lot of drainage of energy in this energy as well the four of swords is for me it feels like uh, there's the three swords okay so we're definitely looking at three of swords energy but it also comes up as you want to move out of something but maybe being overly tired or even not having the energy to do so you know whenever i see a justice card i'm going to ask spirit guide to show me closest cards that are negative and it is this card because the four swords not always a great card it's a card of contemplation it's a card of life evaluation you could have been going through this for a long period of time already really asking yourself what is it that i want um i feel yeah as well that you could be burned out um they could be like when you get burned out health issues do come into play so you could have been finding yourself a lot like that um over the past couple of years i always ask with the justice card show me what is ending because the justice card will always tell you there's a change coming karma has been burned it's been let go of you and whatever is negative will be the karma and whatever comes next that is positive will be your dharma and there it is so you've been in this paused energy where you're experiencing maybe illnesses tiredness stuck feeling life is not really going the way you want it to go and you're ready to step into your queen of swords era there we go you know what i mean and that is what's coming in when this change takes place love this reading I love love this reading. You are going to be working very very hard. There is a lot of work that you're going to be doing and I think if anybody is ready for this you are especially because you've got the queen of swords aligned with the eight of pentacles. If anyone can do this, you can do this. Virgo, you got the energy and I feel like your energy is being drained in the wrong place. You do have the energy. She's got a lot of energy. It's like your energy is being wasted somewhere here. running on it's like running on the hamster's wheel you never getting off and you're not really going anywhere you know and this comes up here as you now finally putting your energy into where it's meant to be because with this independence here comes a lot of excitement a lot of excitement king of wands to me spiritual energy because it's wands fire um creative energy uh very inspired very excited energy always working on something new you know creating something new this financial independence gives you the ability to now to be able to figure out what it is you want to bring into this world uh who do you want to become how do you want to present yourself what is it that you will be creating next and that's this energy coming in here beautiful I love this reading so much let's have a look and see one more message for my Virgos out there. The Black Dragon, I've never had Black Dragon before coming in. Okay. It cocoons you so that your divine potential grows. That is exactly from the beginning of this reading I felt that. I felt this energy like you're in this um bubble or you're in a force field or you it got a wall around you, a safe haven. There it is. Look at that. So it's not wasted. everything that you've been going through everything that you've been experiencing is not wasted it is um a time that you had to be in i feel it could also be uh, the next couple of months as well cocoons you so that your divine potential can grow meditate and you i remember in the beginning of the reading i was saying you could be meditating you know it looks like cuz he's buddha i mean he teaches meditation um going within interesting so yes you could be meditating meditate reflect and undergo a metamorphosis thank you very much you are going to change there is something here that is happening to you that is coming in that is turning you into somebody else enjoy it go for it um, and while you are going through this change i kind of feel like this is cocoons you so that so that your divine potential can grow beautiful look how this tree is growing inside this protective field and this is the year of the dragon that's why i'm using the card the dragon cards with this energy remember it's a 2024 reading but if you get it any other time it's meant to be heard at this point um i feel like you're still going to see more about who you're going to be i feel like um 
during this time that you're going through this change, you, you are safe. So don't feel scared. I feel like you're being very, very protected. Okay, three of fire, my favorite card as well. Lovers card, Gemini, and we've got the two of air coming in here. A lot of interesting energy. Messenger of uh, water coming in, which is the Knight of Cups that is moving ahead energy. It's something you're going to be leaving also. The Three of Wands is a new reality coming in for you. This is something different. Um, this is a life that you have not yet experienced. Okay, feeling a little bit emotional for you. I'm feeling happy for you. Um, it is something you're going to absolutely love. <sighs> okay, I, I know. This is something you're absolutely going to love. You're absolutely going to love this. There's something else as well that you are shutting down. This is deeper than just walking away from people. This is deeper than just changing your job. It's an element of who you perceive yourself to be here with the Two of Swords that you are letting go of. I'm curious to see what the clarifier is here. There's an element of you shutting things off in your life that are not meant to be there anymore. And there's a truth about you coming out. So interesting. You literally got me emotional. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so we got the Empress. I told you, I saw her. I saw the Empress when I was shuffling earlier. You are birthing a new life where it's going to be something very, very different. And you are so in balance. Look at this, look at this. Got the Emperor and the Empress. So it's very practical. It's very like, what are you doing? But it's also very spiritual with the Empress of what am I feeling? What, are, what is my intuition telling me? A very balanced energy coming up again with the lover's card. That's the same energy. Divine counterparts in you being awakened. Also feeling if you are a man, it's almost like divine feminine energy is going to be awakened in you, which is perfect. If you're a woman, and it also depends, you can be a woman as well and have more divine masculine energy. I feel like more divine feminine is being awakened in you. Let's look at it that way. So if you've got a lot of divine masculine energy, now almost like divine feminine energy is being awakened. Very spiritual, very like feeling your way through life. Not just the practical energy of the emperor. This is very balancing for you. Look at this under the deck. Again, I'm seeing more cards. Um, the Six of Swords showing up here as you've been moved away from a time or a place that you did not want to be in. That was not right for you. That was not uh, stressful. It was very stressful. You are being moved by your spiritual team to a new way of being. Lover's card aligning with your Two of Pentacles. That's very good. Um, the lover's card is a very balanced card. So a lover's card, you can see by the pillars in the background, it shows up as always being equal. Two people sitting with each other equally, giving and taking. Um, a life that you love. Um, balance coming in. And because in the two original Rider, Rider Wyatt, wait, um, you've got two people facing each other equally. And I feel like there's been a lot of unbalance in your life here. This is correcting what this is. There's something here with regards to how you feel about your stability or your energy or your what you put out is not what you always want to get back. There's experiences here that is very, very unbalanced. Even as you are now moving into this new beginning, this can continue to happen. There's going to be a bit of stress that you still keep carrying here. Okay, it's not like it's going to end in a day. It's going to, remember you are being cocooned as you move into this metamorphosis and during this period i do feel like there is still going to be a bit of stress there's still going to be things that do not feel very good to you that makes you feel very unstable in your existence unbalanced in your energy and spirit guide is asking you to please keep on going through that it is going to come to an end there is a shift that's going to take place while you are waiting for that lovers card to show up in your world that you in the life that you love um it will be a bit of like challenges that is normal so don't freak out keep moving through them because something is going to be revealed to you okay look at this beautiful there is definitely a new you being revealed here um the strength card which is leo right uh, it comes up above the two of swords i do feel like you are taking control 
first of all let's look at the exterior energy you are taking control of us external situations that are happening in your life that do not make you feel strong that can be making you feel like that and i feel like you're taking back your power the emperor there and it is going to be that taking back of power getting back your strength as you're moving away from certain things that have been causing you to live a life that is not really what you want to see the two of swords is you closing an era of your life here the strength card on a spiritual level i feel like it's tying back to revealing who you really are and controlling fear as well as you move into this new beginning because the strength card is talking about this this lady um controlling this wild animal and that wild animal it is usually a lion or some kind of like a feline energy um is a representation of the mind it represents how we can be out of control in our mind and the two of swords would be paranoia it would be fear it would be experiences that we have um internally that are causing a lot of fear to rise up into us and this is you taking control of that energy letting go of the fear of the future letting go of what your mind tells you and you just don't want to hear because it's holding you back it's keeping you in a place where you remain a victim and this is you when you take control of that it's also going to change who you are it is going to change who you are and you're going to become a person that's empowered not only in the practical side of your life but also in the spiritual internal side of your life what a journey and as you're doing this i feel like there's a life that you're moving into that you've never you've never experienced this before and um it is going to be something different i think than what most people are doing and i think who you are growing into don't be afraid you are being fully fully protected as you move into this um i honestly feel like this is a journey that is still coming in for you i feel like as i'm doing the reading that it's an untold the story hasn't come to an end <laughs> that's it's a, it's a it's chapter 1 you literally chapter 1 maybe chapter 2 you're moving still into chapter 3 chapter 4 and maybe as we continue with your readings here on my channel we might begin to see more into chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 about what this really is going to become for you so if you want to catch more of your journey here and where you are going i'm actually kind of intrigued myself to see where this is all going i do remember to subscribe if that's what you want to do and um so we can see this journey about where it is going and who you are truly unveiling yourself to be in this world a very interesting energy i feel like you are really are this person you recognize your significance I feel like you've always been something pretty unique, pretty special, and um, it's time now. Accept the keys, accept the codes, and allow something to be revealed here. There we go. I'm sending my love to you, Virgo. Very interesting reading. I will see you guys in your next one.